thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and check out the bell icon down there somewhere. Uh, make sure you get notifications when my video content comes out. I have a pretty interesting topic today to me. My opinion uh, is that it's a, it's a, it's kind of a neat combination of what what we have going on in our country today. Uh, some of my fan base is going to be upset with a little bit of what I say, and some of my fan base, and most of you, might be very um, like right right with me on this. So here in in my region, the state of Minnesota, but the state of Minnesota in general, there's a, a particular municipality. It's a well, three third largest city in the state, and like all large cities, they have a park board. And um, a member of the park board in, in this city had some uh, interesting things to say about the American flag. And I'm going to read one of the quotes uh, from this lady. And, and it reads, I'm not suggesting we not have it there, referring to a, a, a flag going up in a memorial, uh, because it's appropriate. But the American flag for many is patriotic, but others it is a sign of injustices. And she went on to clarify that she's lived places in her life where the American flag is used as a form of intimidation. And, and you know what? I, that particular part, I'm not really here I'm going to debate. What I want to say first is there have been a lot of people calling for this woman to lose her position on the park board. Okay? Um, as a member of the park board in this particular municipality, uh, she is an appointed servant. Appointed servant. She's a servant of the people. And as such, um, there are certain things that extend to her, uh, like uh, protections, if you will, as a public servant. And people are calling for her to be removed from the park board. And I say no. She was speaking on a matter of public interest, of great public concern. And while I, I don't agree with her on the nature of the American flag being a symbol of oppression, a symbol of racism, or whatever else she's trying to imply or state, I will defend to the death her right to say those things. Just like I will defend to the death the right of men like Colin Kaepernick and others to kneel when the national anthem is played. I will defend to the death the right of people to fly the American flag upside down. And I would even defend to the death the right of people to burn the flag in protest. I would never do it and I won't condone it, but I will defend to the death their right to do that. And so this particular woman in this particular park board in this particular city, the third largest in the state of Minnesota, she as I, as asinine as I find her comments to be, she has every right to say them, even in her role as an elected, or excuse me, as an appointed servant. As a public figure, she has a right to speak her mind, even if what she's saying is offensive to some people. Period. Absolutely. No doubt in my mind that she has a right to say those things. And what those of us that are constitutional and those of us that are patriotic in the sense of wanting to see things like the American flag put in positions of honor and recognize that it is a symbol of liberty, a symbol of the republic, the very liberties and the very um, republic that have made freedom possible for people. Even those who were once oppressed in, in horrible ways. As flawed as the United States is and has been in its history, and there's no doubt about it, we, we are a flawed republic. We have not always done things well. It's, it's indisputable that we have not always done things well. Chattel slavery was a horrible crime against the people who suffered from it. Now, that doesn't make me guilty of chattel slavery. That doesn't mean I'm responsible for chattel slavery. That doesn't mean that I'm, I should be responsible for paying people 
reparations for chattel slavery. No one alive today should be paying reparations for chattel slavery. I'm not responsible for things like Jim Crow laws. But the American flag is a symbol of liberty and a symbol of freedom. And to say that we have to keep in mind that putting it up at a memorial could be hurtful to some people while she has every freedom, even as a public servant, in, in her official capacity to say those things, they're asinine. They're absolutely asinine. And I think she should apologize. But I'm not going to call on her to be terminated. I'm not going to call on her to lose her position. I'm not going to call on her to be censured. I'm not going to call on her to be re, um, have her hand slapped by any stretch of the imagination. So, madam, I disagree with you wholeheartedly. I disagree with you wholeheartedly. But I would defend to the death your right to be that wrong, stupidly wrong. A defend to the death. You're right to do that. Your liberty to speak your mind, even as a public servant. And, and what I, and, and I started to say this, what I want us as constitutionalist, as uh, patriotic, traditionalist Americans who stand for the republic the way it is now or was and was intended to be not not what it's becoming today is we have to stop partnering in cancel culture okay we have to stop partnering in or taking part in or utilizing cancel culture it flies in the face of our morals it flies in the face of our value it flies in the face of our ethics and as a person who is having cancel culture in different ways in different shapes in different forms who has had it brought against him i despise it in all of its forms period absolutely 100% despise it it disgusts me and as I've said before, I have skin in the game. Cancel culture has come from me in various ways. Very heavily in the last year. I am not a correct thinker. I don't toe the line. I stand starkly opposed to the direction that culture and society is heading today. And I will speak out against those things. I will continue to speak out against those things. And I will not do so in a way to soften the blow of the idiocy that is happening today. If I see somebody in elected servants positions or in a public servant or in an appointed servants position, Doing something that violates the Constitution, doing something that is reprehensible, doing something that I find to believe and believe to be absolutely morally repugnant to the Constitution or to the role of a public appointed servant or an elected servant, I am going to call them out for that misbehavior and I will continue to do so no matter what. Full speed ahead, damn the torpedoes. That's my responsibility as a constitutionalist. But when somebody is sharing their thoughts, sharing their opinions, as much as I disagree with them, I will never seek to silence them. I will never seek to have them disciplined. I will never seek to have them stripped of a position just because I don't agree with them. Period. Now, if somebody's an elected servant position and you don't like their positions, find somebody to run for office to beat the snot out of them in the polls. Embarrass them with letters to the editor. Point out where they're failing. Do commentary. Speak about those things. I don't care who it is. I don't care, as I say all the time, if it's your dog catcher. I don't care if it's your your mayor. I don't care if it's your city uh, cop. I don't care if it's the sheriff. I don't care if it's your uh, county board. I don't care who it is. If they're doing things 
that are morally repugnant to the Constitution and violations of their oaths of office, then hold them accountable. Hold them accountable. Speak out. Get off your butts and speak out. But don't seek to silence them if all they're doing is sharing their opinion or sharing their, their thoughts on a topic. That is what what's made this country so great is that we could we could enter into the public arena friends we could come at things from diametrically opposed positions and we could come up and we could butt heads on those things we could butt heads and we could walk away better for it but the left doesn't know that today, and they will use anything they can to silence anybody that disagrees with them. And now the right wants to do the same thing. The conservative, traditionalist, constitutionalist, republic-loving Americans are trying to do the same thing. And it should be an anathema, to use a biblical term, to us. Stop demanding that people lose their jobs for speaking their opinions and using their liberty of freedom of speech. Period. Unless they are actually calling for people to do violence, let them speak. Stop trying to silence them because you look like a hypocrite when you decry cancel culture and when it's used against the people you love and the people you care about, but then demand that cancel culture get brought to bear on the people you disagree with. So do you, madam, of the park board of the third largest municipality in the state of Minnesota, I adamantly reject your position that the American flag can be considered a symbol of hatred and oppression it is the flying and the waving of the American flag that has led to freedom for literally millions upon millions of people, not only in the United States Republic, but around the world. And people of every ethnicity have rallied behind, under, and with the American flag and carried it into battle to liberate nations and oppressed peoples everywhere. And as wrong as you are, I will stand beside you and defend you, madam, in your freedom to speak even your ill-advised opinions. And everyone should stand with you in exercising that liberty. I will not be part of cancel culture. I will hold you accountable if you do something that's wrong. But I will defend your right and your liberty to speak your ill-advised opinion. And I would hope, madam, and anyone else who sees this, that no matter how much you disagree with me, you would do the same for me. We cannot be what we hate in others. Until next time, Six Emperor Tyrannus.